if you want. Today we're on a venture to Chicken Corners. And we have our, oop, where is it, back there? Our camper, camper on, top. on the, the truck. It's apparently rated as a two. a two of 10 for difficulty. We'll see, I think it should be fine for the camper, but check out this view of this canyon. Yeah, it's just a beautiful view. And crazy drop off. Yeah, I had no idea how high we had gone. It's beautiful, right beside the Colorado River and then the red rocks and the reflection off of this thing. Incredible. That sign just said 19% grade as we're going down into the canyon. You're not gonna make that. Okay, you're, ma you're making it, I'm sorry but your back end is really angled. Okay, you're okay. It's a very narrow section and we've also got rocks coming in on the driver's side, which are the same height as the camper. You're okay, babe. I'm watching both. You're okay on the camper. Okay. Let me check your back tire. Okay, you're okay. Most of the trail in was pretty light. And then as we started crossing through the pass area, this is kind of more of what we've encountered. Um, just kind of the more rocky little shelves, pretty windy as we came over the pass. We're actually headed down, back down into the valley, which I was thinking would get a lot nicer and smoother. But it hasn't yet because we're still crossing the rock. Peter readjusted our shocks. He put them back up because we were swaying a little bit too much. I'd like to call this rock Dribble Rock. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting the way that it has been cut out. The view is really pretty. As you can see, our road has had some degradation from water. I do have to say, being off camber with the camper on the back is a little more unnerving. We just came through a section that was a bit off camber. <laughs> and I was a little squeamish. Ooh. Doing great, babe. This shelf is actually probably one of the smallest that we've encountered. It's a pretty small shelf. This is basically a down. Yeah. It's actually the smallest we've encountered in the last little bit. I think the shelves have gotten bigger. Yeah, the road is not terrible. I, I do have to say I am a little surprised at how rocky it is in certain sections, just given the trail's rating. Um, a two really is nothing more than a gravel trail typically. I mean, it's been fun and exciting. Definitely keeps us on our toes. And the view is just absolutely beautiful. Encountered another narrow section. I'll show you. It's not narrow if you don't have tall things. But as you can see, Peter and the donkey coming around the corner. Whew. When the camper is tipped that way and you're in the truck, it feels crazy. We'll see. Peter's going to go slow and try and prevent as much sway as possible. But the right driver tire oh, always freaks me out. It's about to drop and it's coming down again. See, Peter's a good driver. He does a really good job <laughs> keeping the camper from swaying as much as possible. I think he's one of the few people that would off-road roads such as this <laughs> with a camper on the back that's why I love them when we had our shocks um, tuned down from off-roading the last few days without the camper on it it wasn't absorbing enough of the weight from the camper and basically we were doing the double sway every time we were coming down and I'm sure anyone who's driven a camper knows what the double sway is it's really uncomfortable 
just keeps going. We've been off-road for 30 miles now and it's an out and back, which it's gonna be a long day of being on the trail. <laughs> but hey, it's been fun. We're almost to our lunch spot, which turned out to be a very late lunch. It's about two. I've seen several Jeeps recently, um, which it looks as if Cliffhanger might be pretty close to us. There might be a little overlap in its loop. But this is pretty extreme for the little camper guy. I mean, Peter made it look really easy, but there's you can see a lot of variation in this rock and the scenery just keeps getting more beautiful you're 0.2 of a mile oh, from the chicken I feel we can almost <laughs> taste it oh man this is kind of exciting but there's always <laughs> more fun ahead we made it yes <laughs> that was epic and we have a good lunch spot now i'm pretty sure we do it's absolutely and there's beautiful. a place to go hike yeah, there's a whole bunch of side-by-sides. Probably after lunch, we'll do that little trail around the edge and just see, just hike around a little bit, move around before we head back in. That is the sketchiest trail I've ever <laughs> hiked on ever in my life. Uh, we could try doing video on it on the way back. It might be Maybe, scary. Maybe, but it is so scary. It's, <laughs> it's a straight pull cliff the rock. drop. <laughs> and it is windy and the wind is picking up because we have a storm coming in tonight, which is actually why we're not camping out here because a lot of the road out here could potentially get washed out with this rain. Beautiful Colorado River. It is just gorgeous as it goes around the bend. That's where the, you get the whole panoramic picture of the bend. And this is the Colorado River as it comes around. And as it goes into the S curve, when I was up there, we could actually see the camper, which is right it didn't make any sense why this trail was called Chicken Corner until we followed the trail at the end <laughs> of the road. And then it all makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of Chicken's Corner. Can you make it around the corner there? It's only about a thousand foot straight drop off here. And the rock is outcropping over your head. This section's pretty wide. It's the next section that's pretty This is, this is not bad in this section here. It's a little narrow around here. It's a loose, rocky slope. And this is where you just watch your footing. Yeah. All right. Just following your footsteps. Actually, keep them on the edge. Well, the trail, whatever. On the proper side on of the, the edge. On the proper side of the edge. Yeah. Yeah, you can fit by this guy. That's nice. That one I'm not so sure I'm going to look for, but we'll find out. Oh, I totally am. Woohoo, the vertically challenged. That's nice. <laughs> It's a very loose slope along here and definitely don't look down while you're walking this path. Keep focused on where you want to go. Well, we made it past Chicken's Corner. You can see looking back that crazy outcropping right there. We're getting super narrow and it's just, it's a long freaking drop off. I'll tell you what, none of the rock crawling we've done at all compares to Chicken Corner. The best part I have to say is that I have a deathly fear of heights and normally I'm the one telling Peter, no, I don't want to go. And I literally buzzed it down. The she trail. just goes scampering across <laughs> around the corner. I go, where'd you go? <laughs> I'm hanging on the rocks going, this is sketchy. <laughs> oh well. One of the most beautiful places we've actually explored in Moab since getting here. We have reached the part where Peter and I have dubbed this the narrows and that's because it's a rather narrow part of the trail and i need to spot from the outside to make sure the camper doesn't get hit while he comes through and the colorado river is 
rather close to this. In fact, it's right over there. You're clear. There's that pointy rock in the middle of the road. Watch your mirror, honey. The problem with a hole like that is that's gonna tip our camper straight into the rock Peter's next to. And he's trying really hard not to dump the camper, um, which can happen very easily. And we definitely don't wanna be dumping our camper. We have another rock. Whew. You're good. Perfect, you cleared that one. Luckily, we only have a couple of narrow sections that are super scary. This is the one I am most concerned about coming up because there's very little on the passenger side and the rock is very much, well, I guess it's driver side now. The rock is very much in the road. It's this rock right here. Okay, you've got to get further over. Your drop off is right here, honey. You're good. I'm watching. You're good. You're clearing. Just don't fall in the hole on the other side because that's the Colorado River. That's more than a hole. <laughs> okay, I may be a little stressed out sometimes when off-roading, but as we've discussed earlier, I have a fear of heights, ironically not on hiking on them, but when Peter drives over it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we realized what this was. This is the coolest sign. Check out all of these <laughs> we... hanging chickens. This is the sign to Chicken's Corner. Check out this guy. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Oh, there's a Santa chicken. There's little ducklings. An attack chicken on duty. <laughs> That's funny. There's a chicken in a bikini. There's one. Oh, that chicken's head fell off. I don't think it probably started that way. <laughs> the weather's a little rough out here. This is really funny. This reminds me of Tea Kettle Junction. It totally is. It's really cool. <laughs> this seemed a little crazier when I was on the passenger side on the down on this turn. <laughs> Looks a lot wider from out here than it felt in there. The off camber switchbacks on the way up the hill. Peter's a little concerned because it's very loose rock right there and not somewhere he wants his back tire to go. You're doing great, babe. If you stay in that line for a little bit. Whoop. That was a little jerky. Yeah. You are about to drive over a little rock. Okay. You're good. You're tracking on the back end right where you want to be. It just looks really, really off camber. There you go. It looks the other way better. Oh, you mean when I was on the downside telling yeah. you that looks scary? <laughs> The top side is way better than the bottom side. Ah, uh, the whole time I was on the bottom side coming in. And I kept telling Peter, this is scary. Now he knows how I felt. We just passed these people in a Toyota 4Runner. It looked mostly stock. And husband and wife, and they were just laughing. They said, we've been hanging on for dear life on this thing. And, and here you are driving an RV down this road. As you can see on the passenger side, we have a very large rock wall. It is somewhat protruding. And on the driver's side, it's a bit narrower through here. And it's very washed out right there. You're coming up to the rock, kid. There's some rocks that protrude that he's got to get out from. That's plenty of space. You're good. As you can see, Big rock wall. And huge drop off. <laughs> this section right here is rather narrow. And there's a rather large hole right there that could cause some unnecessary sway. A 
rat bed. Ready to rock this switchback? Luckily this section is pretty flat, which isn't causing a lot of sway for us. It's just got a lot of wash out. This is all washed out. He's got to be careful not to sway the camper because of all of the rocks. Nice work. Ooh. I'm watching the roof. It's actually above you. You can stay wider if you want. Ooh, that was scary. We finished the chicken corner trail and it was about, what, three hours? Yeah, I think we did it right at three hours. Three hours in, three hours out. Now, we yeah. would not have brought the camper with us if we were just doing it out and back. However, we were thinking about camping out there, which is why we brought the camper. <laughs> it was a little bit of a bummer turning around and coming straight back, but there's a rainstorm coming in and a lot of those roads are pretty sketchy. Yeah. Didn't really know how much rain we get or if we'd have a situation that would be difficult to get back out of. Yeah. So we decided, Let's play it safe, come back into town. There were some epic camp spots though. That would have been awesome. Yeah, it would have been really <laughs> neat to stay out there. Maybe we'll do that another time. Yeah. One of the hard things with having the truck camper is knowing where we can actually take it. You know, how far can you push it and how far is gonna not work. So this trail was rated kind of an easy moderate Jeep trail. And I would say it was definitely a difficult camper trail. Yeah, because that's it true. was narrow and there had were rocks shelves, poking out. all sorts of fun there stuff. Were cliff drop offs that we were trying to make sure we were within the right wheelbase, which if we hadn't had the camper on, wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Because yeah. the rocks wouldn't have been low enough for them to hit the truck. Yeah, it's it's a challenge. It's interesting sometimes figuring out routes you want to try and whatnot. And most of the time we figure, you know, hey, if we can do it, great. If not, we'll just turn around. And uh, it was fun to be yeah. able to make it all the way out there. Super cool destination. It was just a long, rough road though. Yeah. It, it had some technical stuff to it, but overall it was just a rough, long road. It's 21 miles in from the start sign, which is yeah. probably seven miles down this road. Anyways, it was pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us yeah. a thumbs up. We'll catch you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye.